G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to update everybody on my hitting strip. I'm going to put up some pictures now. The hitting strip itself has been absolutely fantastic. It's taken a lot of pressure off my joints, my elbows in particular, where I was starting to feel some pain. I have a decent mat. My hitting mat, which is now my stance mat, is a T-Turf mat. It's a premium T-Turf that I bought from the Net Return. It's a really good mat. It does have a lot of cushion. However, when I was hitting golf balls off this mat with the concrete underneath, I started to get elbow pain. And yes, I am hitting a lot of golf balls. So maybe if you hit less golf balls, this wouldn't happen. It would give your body a bit of time to recover, but I was starting to feel pain. So that's why I made this impact strip to try and alleviate the, the pain and the repetitive jarring motion that hitting off the mat and concrete does. I do have a video on how I built this mat. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it in the description, but just giving everyone an update. As you can see on screen, the hitting strip itself is great. The acrylic that I have and the foam is still fantastic. It's perfect. However, that top putting strip or putting turf that I've put onto this onto this impact strip has had quite significant wear up to the point where I've had to rotate it. Now, this strip that I have is quite long, so I am able to rotate it around and have a bit more area to play with. If I was to have made one that cut out into my T-turf, I would have already had to replace this strip. So a lot of these putting turf, well, all of the putting turfs aren't designed to have iron shots hit off them. And as such, you can tell it started to wear away quite quickly. I haven't had this hitting strip for too long and already I'm noticing significant wear. So I am on the lookout for a more premium or more sturdy, more durable putting turf to put onto this strip. And I'm hoping that that will make a big difference in terms of durability. However, what you've got to realize with these things is they are going to wear out because they're not designed for full shots to be hit off. So they are a disposable item. If you do this, you are going to need to buy a little stockpile of putting turf and replace it every few months or you know every six months, depending on how much you use your impact strip you are gonna to have to replace this. I will keep updating people on this. If you're interested, let me know. If you know of any good putting turfs that people have used for this kind of thing, let me know in the comment section below. I am trying to source some Kingston green putting turf, but in Australia, it's quite hard to come by. Hopefully in an updated video, I will have that turf and I'll be trying it out. All right, guys, if you've got any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.